Virtual reality has already revolutionized the gaming industry, allowing players to immerse themselves in incredible new worlds built with a dazzling attention to detail. But the technology is now being adapted to become a rather unlikely tool. Scientists across the globe have been experimenting with VR to provide therapy for some serious mental health issues. And thanks to years of intricate research, many issues are now being addressed in groundbreaking ways. For example, for many people, everyday situations, such as riding on an underground train, can trigger a disproportionate response. But thanks to a team of experts at Oxford University, these people may no longer have to worry. A simulated trip on the London Underground in virtual reality has been created to help sufferers. As part of the study, 30 patients took part in a half-hour session to face their fears. Seven simulated journeys were carried out in a specialised virtual reality lab. They were then tested for their responses when faced with travelling in both a train and a lift. Professor Daniel Freeman reveals how each patient experienced more pressure throughout the treatment. But so far, Professor Freeman and his team have generated some very positive results. From just 30 minutes in VR, using the right techniques, there were large reductions in paranoia. Immediately afterwards, over half the patients no longer had severe paranoia. Importantly, the benefits transferred to the real world. And it's hoped that one day the VR treatment will be escalated into a full clinical trial. But travelling on a packed London train is only one of the experiences that many struggle with. Survivors of trauma suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder can have it even worse. Whilst this may look like a scene from Call of Duty, it couldn't be further from a game. It is in fact a simulation from the Brave Mind program developed by the Institute of Creative Technologies. The ultimate aim for the team is to recreate battlefield experiences to help US soldiers suffering from PTSD. Director of Medical Virtual Reality Skip Rizzo reveals how big VR's role is in providing this much needed therapy. VR is an evocative technology. It can bring out emotions that sometimes can't come out in other ways. And this is where VR shines. You can put people in simulations that bring up an emotion and then teach them ways to deal with that emotion in an appropriate fashion. And thanks to the team's hard work, the Brave Mind program has now been introduced into more than 50 hospitals across the US. VR therapy isn't just for extreme cases though, it can also be helpful in treating day-to-day -day phobias. This service from the Virtually Better Clinic in the US helps patients to overcome their fear of flying. A short journey from the airport lounge to the seat of the plane seems simple enough to most, but for those who dread flying, this experience is associated with beating hearts, sweaty palms and severe anxiety. By taking patients on simulated flights, they can confront their fears with the guidance of a virtual therapist. A life-changing experience for many who are held back by this particular phobia. And it doesn't stop there. Virtually Better also has similar programs to help people with phobias of lifts and heights. But whilst VR is proving help in overcoming fears, it's also helping to stimulate minds. The Virtual Forest from Alzheimer's Australia Vic aims to engage dementia sufferers. The therapy immerses them in a calm, peaceful world where they can hear butterflies fluttering and watch the snowfall. The sensory therapy application stimulates their senses and allows for them to interact with the virtual world for 30 minutes. For residents who are highly agitated and find it difficult to engage for even five minutes, this experience, according to consultant Juanita, can be a revelation. The virtual world will give a person living with a cognitive disability an enormous amount of possibilities, like feel good about themselves, 
have some control in their lives, feel important, feel valued. Because any time we are taking their opinions, they feel valued and the self-esteem is going up immediately. When every role has been taken from them, this is giving it back. And that is priceless. It is priceless. Using state-of-the-art gaming technology, Unreal Engine 4, the designers have been able to create a fully immersive virtual environment. One they hope will provide dementia care on multiple platforms. From helping stressed soldiers and paranoid tube travellers to stimulating the minds of the elderly, VR is completely changing psychological therapy. Innovations in the field have already helped a wide spectrum of people and its continued development promises a renewed hope to many more. <laughs>